So another reminder today of the importance of a diet to our health. The American Cancer Society reporting that men and women with more fat along their waistline have a higher chance of dying, even if they are not technically overweight. Our next guest's company is betting big on the growing number of Americans who are trying to eat healthier and manage their weight. I want to welcome John DeSimone. He is the chief financial officer of the nutrition company Herbalife. John joins us from the Canaccord Growth Global Growth Conference in Boston, put on by a Canaccord Genuity. Uh, John DeSimone, weight management, is that the key to profits right now in the industry for Herbalife? Well, it's one of the elements of our, our success. Um, the product line, our product line has never been more relevant than it is today. Uh, obesity is not just a Western problem, it's a worldwide global problem. Um, the World Health Organization estimates that by in five years there'll be 2.3 billion overweight adults in the world. That's 40% more than there were five years ago. But that's only half the story. Uh, the other half of the story is that our business model has evolved to create greater access to our product. Uh, traditionally, um, five years ago, consumers had to purchase the product at a on a monthly basis, a monthly price point. Um, they had to spend thirty, fifty, a hundred dollars to purchase the month's supply of product, um, and this that that worked perfectly well for one segment of consumer. Um, but there's another segment that couldn't afford to participate in the product offering at that monthly price point. Uh, so John, you, you, yeah. sorry, you mentioned this idea of global, and we'll get to the price points in a second, but you mentioned this idea that obesity, it is a global problem. You've recently held some events overseas, Kiev, for example, as well as in Singapore. What were the results? How many people actually attended these events? Well, our biggest event in Asia had 18,000 people. Uh, in total, we had almost 50,000 people attend uh, the events just in the last three months. Um, we tend to have 13 large events around the world, and the attendance has been uh, a lot greater this year than they have in the past, uh, as experienced by our sales growth and the relevance of our product line. How important have the nutritional milkshakes or shakes, how important is that to the lineup, and are you seeing competition from more mainstay food retailers? Well, uh, the meal replacement shake represents about a third of our business. It is the founding product of Herbalife, launched 30 years ago. Um, the competition, we view the competition really as fast food. Um, as fast food is spread globally, we come in behind with a solution that's at a better price point uh, on a meal replacement shake that allows the consumer to trade down economically but trade up nutritionally. And so what are you seeing now in terms of growth? Where is it? Is it in the weight management business? Or indeed, there's also a lot going on at Herbalife having to do with digestive health. Well, our, our growth has been very broad-based, both geographically and from a product standpoint. And um, the real key has been the new daily price point that allows our distributors to sell to the consumer really at a daily price point, just the product they need for a specific day, similar to how you may purchase coffee in the morning. That price point is much more accessible to consumers than the traditional model and reaches a whole new consumer segment that the traditional model couldn't reach. John, how important is branding? I know you've done a lot of sponsorship of international soccer teams, including some of the players on the winning World Cup team from Spain. Yeah, we sponsor over 150 teams and athletes around the world. It's an important element of branding for the company. Uh, soccer seems to lead the way. It's a natural fit for Herbalife. It's a global sport. We're a very global company. Um, and our um, motto is nutrition for a healthy, active lifestyle. And soccer is a good element for that. So it's been a natural fit for us. What about the competition in fitness and energy drinks? Is there any room for more contenders? Well, actually, we're very small in energy and fitness right now. It only represents 4% um, of our sales. So for us, it's more of an opportunity um, than it is anything else. And you'll see that category grow over the next three years for the company. How have the results in the United States fared during the recession? You've posted some strong numbers. Do you expect that to continue? Yeah, we had 20% growth in the second quarter. Um, we think that separates us from the competition, and, and that's pretty much been driven by the daily consumption, that daily price point opportunity that addresses a new consumer. And we do expect um, double-digit growth in the U.S. to continue. 
What about in places such as Mexico? What kind of results are you posting there? Well, Mexico actually was the genesis of, of daily consumption. It was the market that, re that uh, a distributor recognized that there was a huge need for our product, but a lot of consumers couldn't afford it, so they went to that daily price point model. And we saw double-digit growth uh, in the second quarter in Mexico, despite the fact that Mexico has been open for um, 20 years. And, and th this story continues around the world. You know, Korea was 90-plus um, percent growth. India is a perfectly perfect example of the benefits of daily consumption. The growth in the second quarter was 115 percent because this about 30 to 50 million consumers can participate in our product offering at a monthly price point, but that goes up by a factor of almost 10 to about 300 million people who can afford to participate at a daily price point. How important the daily, that daily immunity, price point is a big opportunity. John, how important are immunity solutions? I mean, the idea of immunity for the body, are you making people aware of that as well? Yeah, we, you know, nutritional supplements through direct selling, it's a great channel for us because we have a lot of products that are very scientifically based, backed by a lot of clinicals, and, and um, direct selling allows us to educate the distributors on the benefits of all our product, including immunity, aloe, the dietary um, uh, nutritional shake. Meal right. replacement shake. Um, want, so it's a great, it's a great channel for us. I want to thank you very much, John D. Simone, he's chief financial officer of Herbalife.